Japan's nuclear crisis has called the entire future of the industry into question. Today, as we've been hearing, European energy ministers, power companies and regulators have been meeting to discuss nuclear safety. And joining me now from Stockholm is the former Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Hans Blix. He shot to prominence as the United Nations Chief Weapons Inspector in the run-up to the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Mr. Blix, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, what is your assessment of the situation currently in Japan? Well, the latest information seems to indicate that there is a little calmer situation. The values of releases have gone down, the radioactivity has gone down. But of course, it's grave when you have had to, uh, to evacuate uh, some, tw some 200,000 people. Um, but what's very important to notice is that the containment around the reactor seems to have been intact. And, and the, the releases that have occurred have, have been, been deliberate in order to reduce the pressure inside the containment buildings. Now, that adds to the radioactivity, but nevertheless it's a controlled process. And now that they seem to have got water back, then that's a bit of a relief. Does this call into question the building of nuclear reactors in areas of so much seismic activity? I'm sure that is going to increase resistance to nuclear power in, in Japan and in many other places we have already seen, in Germany and other places. Uh, it, it has existed before and it's going to increase now. Uh, nevertheless, I think that people also will need to reflect on the use that they have had of nuclear energy. Japan is a country that is poor in energy resources and for some 40 years the nuclear power has given them a measure of energy independence. And not least now is it important that we need to reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide and the nuclear power does not give rise to any carbon dioxide. So it's part of the mix that is necessary, but Professor Stern uh, talked a little while ago, we will need all the energy sources we can, and nuclear is among them. Now, was, uh, were these particular reactors too old? Would more modern reactors be even safer? Can we get to the point where reactors are safe enough to make even the most skeptical people think that nuclear is safe? <laughs> yes, I think that we are continuously developing and we have seen after the Three Mile Island and we have seen after the Chernobyl accident how safety has been improved. The availability of nuclear plants is greater today than it was and they are developing plants now with passive safety. Uh, one feature that has puzzled me is that these reactors in Japan didn't seem to have filters because after, Chano, after the Three Mile Island accident, most uh, light water reactors in the world were fitted with filters, so that even if you release an overpressure, you will catch the radioactivity. But, it's, uh, but the nuclear industry is safer today, and we shall certainly learn a lot from the accident of Fukushima, as we have done before. Mm. Moving on to look at uh, the meetings today about the future of the nuclear world, do you think that we can learn from this and that it will actually make progress, make progress more difficult for new nuclear plants? No, we are continually learning. I was at the IEA for 16 years mm -hmm. and the IEA is a sort of center where the different governments get together and they exchange experiences and they draw up guidelines and recommendations how, how to, uh, what demands they should put on the, on the nuclear industry. Uh, they are free, they are sovereign states, but they nevertheless agree on what the guidelines should be. They also have processes <coughs> under the Nuclear Safety Convention under which they sort of examine each other. Uh, the IEA is not a super authority that gives instructions, but the different countries' representatives get together and they quiz, they ask each other, they report to each other and they examine and they criticize and they improve. So looking forward, when you hear Angela Merkel says that saying that she wants to halt uh, nuclear expansion, do you think that that's wrong? Yeah, I think there will be a, a nuclear expansion. We, uh, due to the, the threat of global warming, uh, nuclear is, is a necessity. Uh, it may be a little slowed down by this, but it is coming. I don't see that the UK is going to stop its, its expansion. I don't see that the uh, China, South Korea, Asia, where you have a tremendous expansion and a greater need for electricity. 
uh, they will not be able to get this by s solar power or wind power. Mr Blix, thank you very much indeed for joining us.